Hello everyone, thank you for having me today. Uh, just quickly, I'm just going to run through Argent Minerals and um, our main flagship asset in New South Wales. Argent Minerals was incorporated in 2008 on the back of the Kenful project, which I'll be quickly discussing. Uh, currently, um, our market cap is under $24 million. We've got around about $3 million in cash with no debt. So with uh, today's presentation, um, I'd just like to quickly and briefly talk to you about the Kenfield Deposit. Uh, the Kenfield Deposit is situated in the Lachlan Fold Belt. Uh, we're around about 40 kilometres south of Orange. Um, Kenfield was originally earmarked to go into production in 2012, but since the uh, silver price collapsed, uh, the VMS deposit has been placed on care and maintenance. Um, since my appointment in um, mid-2022, we've uh, basically reassessed the whole project. Uh, we redesigned um, a lot of the actual modding that was originally done. We've done three phases of different RC diamond drilling in the last two years. Uh, we've moved the uh, deposit from an unconstrained to an actual uh, jaw constrained model. In July of 2024, we released the updated Jork resource, which came back at 63.7 million tonnes, averaging over one ounce of silver, which equates to around about 142.8 million ounces of silver equivalent resource. The actual deposit is um, approximately 2.3 kilometres in strike. It's about 400 metres in width. Predominantly, the historic drilling only focused on the first vertical 100 metres of the silver resource, as it was always earmarked as an open pit type of deposit. Uh, subsequent to uh, putting all this information together, what we found is that by us drilling deep holes uh, beyond the 250 vertical metres, up to 350 vertical metres, we found that the lead and zinc actually increase exponentially with depth. This deposit has not been closed off by any stretch of the imagination. We still have three massive uh, plunging ore chutes which are dipping to the uh, east. We're planning to potentially drill some of these deeper zones during the course of this year. But at this stage, what we're trying to focus on and what we have been focusing on in the last six months is expanding the mineralisation footprint outside of the known resource. The last 18 years, uh, predominantly, everyone's concentrated around the resource. In the last six months, we've taken more samples outside of the resource area um, compared to the last 30 years of exploration. And on the basis of that, we've found another seven kilometres of untested strike uh, with rock chip assaying uh, between 100 and up to 300 grams of silver a tonne from surface. On the basis of this, we raised um, $3 million in June. Uh, we were oversubscribed by $6 million on the back of this placement. And we have a rig arriving on the 9th of September, and uh, we anticipate to start drilling within the next two weeks. And by us drilling uh, over the next two weeks over these areas which are highlighted in uh, regented orange areas, we're hopefully um, we'll start expanding that resource. We anticipate uh, that if the first round of drilling comes back positive, then we'll be drilling between now until the end of the year um, on a 200 metre drilling program, which will be a jaw compliant resource. Um, this project is pretty much advanced in terms of its permitting. The, uh, the metallurgy has been done, the engineering has been done, the pit designs have been done. So all we have to do basically is brush off the last 10 years, get it up to a 2024 compliant, 2025 compliant um, EIS standard, and we could actually start applying for an actual granted mining lease. Uh, we have no native total issues as this has been um, extinguished, as we have a mineral release um, granted over the whole area and also to the um, northern extensions, which have been granted by the New South Wales government. So for us at this stage, we're looking to actually expand the mineralised footprint get some easy, um, shallow, high-grade silver, and we should be hopefully in a potential production scenario within the next 24 months.